What is going on guys? Faz here from Beckett Boy back again with a late night Friday night video. There's something pretty, pretty special. The BGS submission has finally made its way back after I lost count of how many months to be honest. We're almost halfway through this year and yeah, anyway, they didn't even send a, uh, a shipping <laughs> notification. It was just on my doorstep uh, late last night and I was like, what the heck? Anyway, we got it, and uh, I thought since my CGA submission arrived last week, I can do a combined video to spice it up. Got some pretty cool returns in mind, so um, we'll put this together. Keep an eye out in your emails if you're in the BGS sub for tracking notifications. I'll try to send those out next week. Anyway, let's jump right into this. Just a quick reminder guys, if you haven't already to like and subscribe to the channel, plenty of content coming out soon. Let's jump into it. see we've got a couple of piles here BGS submission was only five cards so three people uh, and I've got a bunch of cards here in CGA just some random stuff but uh, let's get into it anyway start with the CGA stuff keep you BGS sub guys hanging a little bit longer uh, <laughs> because six months wasn't long enough but um what have we got here? This is an Allen Iverson rookie card, I think. Yeah, it is. Allen Iverson, and I think this is a Topps Finest uh, refractor with the coating on or something like that. Let's check it out. Yeah, Topps Finest uh, 9, so that's not a bad start. Um, you can see the centering's off just a little bit on that one, but those those um, Topps Finest cards with the borders um, can be a little tricky to, to get decent grades in. Pretty happy with that. That's pretty good. All right, what do we got here? This looks like Andrew Gay's rookie card. Yes, another one. And ever since I told you guys to bump them, what I tell you is going to happen. These are getting harder and harder to get now. These used these used to be on uh, eBay, you know, 10, 20, 30, 50 at a time. There's probably half a dozen at very most now up. I, I think I searched the other night. There was only like two. I was like, wow, that's crazy. So everyone is buying these up in masses. So getting these and if you've got one in decent grade since it is a 92 card that's you know an 8 to 8.5 and upwards is pretty decent i've got a couple in that grade range is not bad um all right so what do we get a seven nice all right and oh here we go anthony hardaway a couple of anthony hardaways these are the fifth anniversary uh, parallels from 1993 so this is his rookie card his true rookie card college dad's on the back there and what have we got 8.5 that's not bad at all not bad and the second one we got an 8 excellent very good old cards those one all right flicking it up onto um, <clears throat> AFL, here we go. We got a oh, this is one from the this is a serial number and asset. This is one of the um uh the new uh select ones I got. And this is the only one I got of this. Uh this is a Ben Ainsworth. Gold Coast Suns. What do we get? An eight. An eight, really. That's pack pulled. Okay. Might be a bit of surface damage on there that I didn't actually see. It's pretty hard to see through those. You can clear acetate once, anyway. Um, yeah, not bad. That's a low serial number, 005. So, serial number, that one. And what have we got here? This is uh, Sam Petresky Seaton, West Coast Eagles. Another serial number, 219 to 255 from this year's uh, Select Footy Stars. And this is the numbers, and that is a 9.5 gem mint. That is a mint card. Excellent. 
Uh, the numbers cards look really, really cool, especially when you're moving around the light. They look really good. They've started with the numbers uh, last season, was the first season of the numbers. <clears throat> and what I've got here is some Dustin Martin. Can't go wrong with Dusty. What's this? 250 milestone games. And we've got a 10. Outstanding. Outstanding. Very good. All right, another milestone game. So I bought both of these. All right, num and another 10. Look at that. Awesome. Dustin Martin has made me a little bit of coin off eBay. I'll leave it at that. Um, oh, here we go. This is something pretty cool. Uh, gold Supremacy Dustin Martin. Got this one. Um, was a little bit of surface damage on this, but I wanted to wrap it up anyway. Um, we'll be listing this up on eBay for sale. And what do we got? This is the 2021 Supremacy. So these are pretty expensive cards. And we got the 7, 2490s. This is a reasonably low serial number. Um, and you, you can't get these on eBay anymore. Most of the, his Supremacy stuff is with owners and doesn't get... These are a little bit thicker too, that's why I wanted to showcase this. This is, uh, I uh, emailed Craig and asked him if they had a thicker case for um, supremacy and patch cards. He emailed back swiftly, said yes they do, and I sent through this supremacy card and got it graded. So that's pretty cool. You don't see a whole lot of supremacy stuff graded, so um, that's something really cool. And, oh, here we go. Oh, actually I'll finish with the, you know what, we'll go to this one first. This is a Shane Warne rookie card. So uh, his true rookie card, 1993 Ashes and a 9-mint. Outstanding. That's really good. They're worth quite a bit of money now, so uh, a few hundred dollars at least for that one. Um, what have we got? I've probably got, just on the subject of that, I've probably got three or four of these now. I've got a 9.5 as well. Um, all right, so here we go. On to some AFL... Draft pick signatures. Now these are, what's this one? This is Daniel Manzel from Geelong. 300 of 400. Um, yeah, these are uh, really different cards. The draft picks, the draft pick signatures, a bit difficult to get them now, especially with um, some of them can get really expensive. So this is an 8.5, outstanding. It's pretty good. Uh, what's that, 2010? So that's the same series as the Dustin Martin rookie. All right, Joel Corey, Geelong legend, Joel Corey. This is a, what is this, of 600? Or 600 of 800? Joel Corey, 8.5, 600 of 800. Yeah, that's a 2000. The year 2000 draft pick signature from Select. Um, that was when they first started doing them all the way back then. And to finish it off, the man himself, draft pick signature Lance Franklin. So this is 2005. His, before he's even played a game, this is 185, 600. You can't get these on eBay anymore. I think I got one of the very last ones and I had to pay quite a bit of money for this. Uh, his cards go right up there. They're right up in the top the top uh, tier, you know, with guys like uh, Swan and Ablett and Dustin Martin. He's one of those guys. Um, but, yeah, I thought, you know what, I had a bit of money. Let's, let's splash out because this is a good card to invest in. And we got an eight. That is interesting because I thought that was... I thought it might have got a... An 8.5 or a 9, but I think it's the centering that's way off on that. But uh, you get what you get and uh, with those sort of cards. So really, really cool. All right. That was a pretty solid return from CGA. That was a mini bulk that I got back last week. So um, that is really cool. And let's move on to Mark. Mark, what do you got here, Mark? Mark, the card grading man himself. Dame Lillard, Damien Lillard. This looks pretty thick. Let's say it's probably a patch. Let's just flip it around and see. I can't remember. It's been that long since we sent these cards off. I don't even remember what we sent off. Anyway, let's do it. And we've got some National Treasures. 
and that's a mint nine. That's pretty good. Now, I did have mentioned before in, in previous videos that um, uh, BGS, extremely strict, uh, extremely, extremely strict you know, card grading standards. Um, that's the only way you can really look at it. They're very, very strict. Um, just, you know, everything is by the millimeter. So you get... Uh, the top end of the grades are, you know, a bit more difficult to come by, but that's a pretty solid reserve. It is a serial numbered card as well, 20 slash 25, so pretty handy return there, Mark. Uh, this one is a, is a Pokemon card, is it? No, something else. It is some sort of TCG. This was Lin's. Uh, Lin, I think I pronounced your name right. Um, customer from Perth, I believe. Anyway, this will be coming out in the mail to you, my friend, uh, probably next week. Keep an eye out for email tracking, etc. What have we got? This is wow, nine point five. Pretty impressive. There we go. Very, very good. And uh, this is called a twenty twenty two one piece. Now I don't know much about the TCG card games and all that sort of stuff. So um, this was just a random card that that came. Um, but you'd be pretty happy with a 9.5, extremely happy. That's a very, very difficult card to, to grade. Um, 9.5 BGS, more than likely a 10 with PSA. Um, that's just how it is. So, all right, on to Tyron's cards. And we've got Andrew Wiggins. Um, I believe these were some signatures, maybe some serial number cards, but Wiggins, let's flip them over and find out. And we got an eight. Um, auto, that's a Panini Lux, yeah. Memorabilia autographs. 25 slash 49. Not bad there, Ty. Let's see if we can get a couple better than that. This is a Jalen Green. Rockets 170 slash 199. And this is also Panini. Let's have a 7.5. Sorry, I've got the, the, these came in the god awful size plastics. 7.5 hard to say what is it edges okay edges is the is the bring down everything else was, was really well graded um yeah interesting 7.5 not the end of the world but let's see if we can hit home with something decent here julius randall uh number 11 this looks like a panini card of some type and we've got a nice a 9.5 outstanding look at that that is a patch auto, 9 slash 25, rookie rampage Excalibur. Very good way to end that one there, Ty. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is a fantastic way to finish up. Get amongst it. We will see you guys in the next vid. Peace.